The shadow system has been used by top mnemonic athletes to memorize decks of cards in sub-15 seconds. Despite this being a powerful system, there's very little material online for learning the shadow system. The basic idea is every pair of cards has a unique image. The shadow system explained in this video is mostly based off how Alex Mullen uses it, which means it only needs 1,352 images rather than the expected 2,704. A regular two card system needs 2,704 images. This is because if you have two cards, there's 52 possibilities for the first one and 52 possibilities for the second one. Assuming we're shuffling together multiple decks so a card can be paired with itself. The shadow system being taught in this video aims to halve this number by letting one image be responsible for two card pairs. For example, the image for the Jack of Clubs and Two of Spades will be the same image to represent the Jack of Diamonds and the Two of Hearts. And the image that represents the Two of Diamonds and Three of Clubs will be the same as the image that represents the Two of Clubs and the Three of Diamonds. You'll be able to tell which pair it is using a switching and chaining method, which shows you the colour of the first card. You need to design your shadow system in such a way that the colour of the first card will always determine which pair it is. This video will explain with salient examples how to construct your own shadow system and how to use it in practice. There's a lot of scope for your own style like with all of mnemonics, so feel free to change what you like. In the video we'll make images according to a modified major system. So ace will be represented by t, d, u, th. Two by n, three by m, four by r, five by i, six by ch, j, sh, and z, like in seizure, seven by k and j, eight by f, nine by p and b, ten by z and s, jack by y and a, queen by w and u, and king by h. For most pairs of cards, we will make the image from the suit pair, then the first value, then the second value. So for example, the seven hearts and ten of diamonds will have possible phonetics j, sh, and ch from the suits, k and j from the seven, and s or z from the ten. A possible image would be jokester or jukebox. This system coerces the spades-diamond combinations to be the same images as the diamond-spades combinations. For example, seven of spades, two of diamonds would be the same image as two of diamonds, seven of spades. The reason we construct a system in this way is so they can always tell the difference between pairs from the color of the first card in the pair. For example, if you had an image that was either two of diamonds, seven of spades, or two of clubs, seven of hearts, and you didn't know which one it was, if you knew the colour of the first one was red, you knew it would be the first one, two of diamonds, seven of spades. This can be a bit confusing, but when we get into an example, it'll make more sense. While the major system does kind of coerce you into making swaps a, a certain way, uh, the intuition for it is that if you have a card pair and they're different colours, swapping their suits is what gets you the shadow. So, as I said before, uh, something like two of spades, uh, three of diamonds, would be paired with two of diamonds, three of spades. However, if they're both the same colour, you will swap it by swapping out the spades for hearts, or vice versa, and the clubs for diamonds, or vice versa. So, for example, the two of spades and the three of clubs would be shadowed with the two of hearts and the three of diamonds. This on its own might not seem very helpful, because when it comes to memorising cards, if you Say go to your first location and you see an image. That image can represent two different card pairs and you won't know which one it is. But we get around this with a chaining and switching method. So if the pair when you memorized it began with a black card, you would stay in the same location. However, if it began with a red card, you'd switch to the next location. So let's say you were memorizing this deck using the shadow system, look at the first two cards, it's red first, so we go in the first loci, move on to the next one. So the next two is black first, so we're going to stay here. 
This pair is black first, so we're going to stay on this location. This is black first, so we're going to stay on this location. Now this one's red first, so we're going to move on. And then this one's black first, so we're going to go to the third location and just put it there. Unfortunately, this does mean that, say if your deck of cards went red, black, red, black, red, black, you'd have to use up 26 loci in order to memorize the deck. And alternatively, if it went black, red, black, red, black, red, you'd have 26 images into one loci. Uh, to get around very long black chains, you can just switch anyway and put a little mental note, like maybe some smoke or something, or just remember that you switched there. To make it simpler in these examples, I'm always going to go suit phonetics, first value phonetics, and then last value phonetics. In reality, in the original Shadow Systems post, uh, where you put the suit phonetics kind of varies, uh, depending on some rules, but we'll ignore that for now. So let's make some images to work with an example. I'll show two cards at a time, and we'll reason through and try and find some images for all of them and their shadows. So let's start with the Jack of Hearts, Two of Hearts. From the heart heart combination, we'll get a S or a Z sound. From the J for the Jack, we'll get like a Y or an A sound. And from the two, we'll get like a N sound. So for this, I'll choose Savant as the image. And its shadow will be the Jack of Spades, Two of Spades. So they'll be the same. They'll both be Savant as the image. Next, we'll go for the uh, Ace of Clubs and Seven of Diamonds. If we turn this into phonetics, it'll be like pfk, uh, which I will make the uh, Pacific, like Pacific Ocean. And the shadow for the Eight of Clubs and Seven of Diamonds is the Eight of Diamonds and the Seven of Clubs. Now for the Ten of Diamonds and Jack of Diamonds. So the signs we get from this is like k or j, s or z, and then y or like a. So for this, I will use co-star, like a co-star on, on a show. And the shadow is the Ten of Clubs and the Jack of Clubs, because the diamonds get swapped out for clubs when they're both the same, uh, when they're both diamonds. Next, I'll do the Queen of Diamonds and the Three of Diamonds. Now for this, the sounds would be like k w m so I'll choose quantum, like a quantum computer. And the shadow for Queen of Diamonds and Three of Diamonds is the Queen of Clubs and the Three of Clubs. Next, uh, we'll find the pair Nine of Diamonds and Four of Hearts. And for this, it'd be like N, P, E. But I will just remember this as NPR podcast. And the shadow is Nine of Clubs, Four of Spades. Then there's the Queen of Spades and the Jack of Clubs. The sounds for this are J. Uh, ah. So I'll think of a jaguar. And the shadow is the queen of hearts and the jack of diamonds. Next is the nine of spades and the three of hearts. So from the spades hearts combination, we get t or d. From the nine, we'll get like p or b. And from the three, we'll get m sound. So I'll think of a tubman, like Harriet Tubman. And the shadow will be the nine of hearts and the three of spades. Next is the Jack of Spades and the Ten of Clubs. The sound for this one is J, Y, or A, or S, or Z. Now for this one I'll go for uh, Genius. Uh, so I'll think of Einstein. And the shadow is the Jack of Hearts or the Ten of Diamonds. Next is the Two of Clubs or the Four of Diamonds. And the sounds for that are P, N, R. So I'll think of Pandora. And the shadow is the Two of Diamonds and the Four of Clubs. Next, we have the Ace of Diamonds and the King of Clubs. So the sounds of this are P T H, which I'll think of uh, like a pothole. And the shadow is the Ace of Clubs and the King of Diamonds. Next, we'll have the Six of Clubs and the Two of Diamonds. The sounds for this are P SH N, which I'll make potion. And the shadow will be the Six of Diamonds and the Two of Clubs. Next, we have the Five of Hearts and the Seven of Hearts. And the sounds are S, I, and K. So I just think of sick. And the shadow is the Five of Spades and the Seven of Spades. Next is the Two of Spades and Queen of Hearts. The sounds are T, or D, N, W. 
which I'll think of as Dinosaur, and the shadow is the Two of Hearts and the Queen of Spades. Next up is the Three of Spades and the Five of Clubs. The sounds for that are ch, m, i, and I'll think of jammies, like pajamas. And the shadow is going to be the Three of Hearts and the Five of Diamonds. Only two more to go. The next pair is the Four of Spades and the Six of Hearts. And the sounds for that are t, d, r, or sh, which I'll think of as torch. The shadow is the Four of Hearts and the Six of Spades. And then the last pair is the Ace of Hearts and the Ten of Spades. The sounds are t, d, t, d, and then like a, a s or a z. I'll think of uh, darts. It could also be deduce with like the two D sounds, uh, but I think uh, darts is a bit more salient. And the shadow is the Ace of Spades and the Ten of Hearts. Okay, let's memorize. Uh, I'll just say some very generic loci that could be in a mind palace for this example. So let's say we start outside and that's loci 1 outside. Uh, loci 2 is a front door. Loci 3 is a corridor. Loci 4 is a door to a living room. Uh, loci 5 is going to be the settee. Loci 6 could be the TV in the living room. And loci 7 can be the window in the living room. Uh, for example, feel free to switch it out with whatever you'd like. So we'll start off with the Jack of Hearts and the Two of Hearts. The image for that is Savant, and it's red first, so we're going to switch away immediately. So you can imagine a Savant uh, outside, uh, like just outside. Then we have the Eight of Clubs and the Seven of Diamonds, which is Pacific Ocean. And that's going to go on the front door. Now it's black first, so we're going to stay in this location and attach another image, chain another one on. So next is Ten of Diamonds and Jack of Diamonds, which is co-star. So we're going to imagine the co-star like flailing around in this Pacific Ocean. Uh, and that was Ten of Diamonds first, so it's red first. So we're going to switch to the next one, which is the corridor. Uh, the next one is Queen of Diamonds and Three of Diamonds. That's also red first. So we're going to imagine the quantum computer, which was our image for that pair in the corridor. And then we're going to switch to the door to the living room. Next, we have the Nine of Diamonds and the Four of Hearts, which is the NPR podcast. So you can imagine the NPR podcast like blaring as you walk through that door to the uh, living room. Next, we have the Seti. And the pair is the Queen of Spades and the Jack of Clubs. Uh, the image for that was a Jaguar. So you can imagine a Jaguar on the Seti. Next, it was the Nine of Spades and the Three of Hearts. The image for that was Harriet Tubman. It's still black fur, so we're going to stay there. So we can imagine the Jaguar being ridden by Harriet Tubman. Then we have the Jack of Spades and the Ten of Clubs, which is a genius. Now, this is black fur, so we're still going to stay here. And the genius we chose was Einstein. So we can imagine, like, uh, maybe the Jaguar's mauling Einstein. You just need to keep the order in mind that it's Jaguar, Harriet Tubman, then Einstein. Now, as Einstein's being mauled, he's like trying to crawl away. And next, there's the two of clubs and the four of diamonds, which the image was Pandora's box. So you can imagine Einstein opening up Pandora's box. And that was black first, so we're going to stay in the same location. And then next up is the ace of diamonds and the king of clubs, which was potholes. And that's red first, so we're going to switch to the next loci, which was the TV. But just keep that in mind. So in that one loci on the seti, we have the Jaguar being ridden by Harriet Tubman, and it's mauling Einstein the genius. He tries to crawl away and opens up Pandora's box, which causes a bunch of potholes to appear around the seti. Then we move on to the TV. The next one is Six of Clubs, Two of Diamonds. The image for that is Potion. And it's Black Fur, so we're going to stay there. And then the next uh, pair is Five of Hearts and Seven of Hearts. The image was Sick. And that's red first, so we're going to switch over to the window. But we can imagine there's a potion that makes you sick. It has like a big X on it or something. And that's on the TV. Last one, uh, like last loci. So the next pair is the Two of Spades and the Queen of Hearts. The image for that was Dinosaur. So you can imagine a dinosaur like smashing through the window. Uh, the next pair is the Three of Spades and the Five of Clubs. The image for that was pajamas so you can imagine the dinosaurs wearing pajamas 
The next pair was the four of spades and the six of hearts. So the image for that was a torch. So you can imagine the dinosaur wearing his pajamas holding a torch. And then we have the ace of hearts and the ten of spades. The image for that was darts. So we can imagine the dinosaur wearing his pajamas, holding the torch, and throwing those darts. Now, the end was ace of hearts, ten of spades, which means we would switch if we had more to go on. But for now, we'll just uh, we'll just stop here. Okay, so let's recap. We have the savant outside. We have the Pacific Ocean with a co-star paddling in it at the front door. We have a quantum computer in the hallway. We have the NPR podcast blaring uh, through the door to the living room. We have a Jaguar being ridden by Harriet Tubman, which is mauling Einstein. He tries to crawl away, but he opens up Pandora's box, causing a bunch of potholes. And then we move over to the TV, where there's a potion that makes you sick. And then we go to the window, where there's a dinosaur wearing his pajamas, holding a torch, and watching darts, or playing darts. So let's say you're recalling the order of the cards. So you go to your mind palace, and you see that the savant is alone outside. The savant can either represent the jack of hearts and two of hearts, or the jack of spades and two of spades. But since we switched right away, we know it must be red first, so it's the jack of hearts and two of hearts. Then we go forward a bit. And we see the Pacific Ocean with the co-star paddling in it. The Pacific Ocean uh, can either be the Eight of Clubs or the Seven of Diamonds, or the Eight of Diamonds and the Seven of Clubs. But since we stayed in that location, it must be black first. So we know it's the Eight of Clubs and the Seven of Diamonds. And then we know we switched on the co-star. So we know it's the Ten of Diamonds and Jack of Diamonds instead of the Ten of Clubs and Jack of Clubs. And so on throughout the whole thing. You'll be able to reconstruct the order I hope this tutorial has been helpful for some of you. It's worth noting after a large amount of practice, the major system will vanish, and when you see a pair of cards, you'll instantly know the image to associate with it. Please like and subscribe.